a very short update today guys a lot of people out there on twitter on other platforms they are drawing this sort of a parabolic curve which is touching the lows of the price in fact you can add a second one which is touching the tops as well and you can see where this channel is directed is something like ten thousand dollars and then it would be pretty much vertical so it would be hard to sustain at this level i don't want to say that i support this idea about that the price will hold within this channel but still a lot of people see that and if the price will react with this line at least a couple more times you would expect that all of them will trade it accordingly and basically go long expecting this parabolic rise to continue it is a sort of a self-fulfilling prophecy as well as a lot of the people are looking at this level which is like 8480 saying that you see we had a pullback of this level because it was the level of this peak it is very strong and so on and so forth but you can imagine that it happened like 10 months ago and of course all the traders who were participating in the trading in this area more likely they changed their position several times so there is basically not so much of the resistance at this point anymore but still this is another example of how the expectations from the masses become reality just because everybody do the same thing now short term on the one hour time frame you see that after this sideways price action we had basically the return of the price to the same area which we had before very close to the resistance so you know the more we try to break it the more likely we will do that eventually and although this is pretty much like a Bart Simpson pattern but you also may think that at some point when the huge players try to see how the market will react on this dump and they actually try to even push the price a little lower but it didn't initiate any of the panic sell or something like that so they realized that the bulls are pr probably really strong and people don't want to sell their positions so they instead made a bold move and pushed the price to the previous state especially because this is the thin market during the weekend so it's easy to do now a lot of people are looking at the indicators saying that for example you may see that we had the divergence for example on RSI and like we had this higher highs here but we have lower highs on RSI which is a bearish divergence so we had this drop and guys first of all i would like to encourage you to remember this picture because many people make mistakes so if we are looking at the tops of the price and indicator we always have a bearish divergence and there is a regular divergence which is most reliable one and hidden and exaggerated divergences which are not that important and i wouldn't really recommend to trade those and when we're looking at the lows those are bullish divergences and again regular one when we have the lower low on the price and a higher low on the indicator this is the most reliable one so at this point we had the bearish divergence on RSI but one hour time frame really I would better look at something like at least four hours time frame and four hours time frame it has this divergence as well it's actually a bit more clear so you see lower highs here almost lower highs on stochastic oscillator as well and in fact if you look at the histogram of MACD you would see lower highs here as well so pretty much convincing that we must see the decrease in the price but now after that we see the rise all of them we have, we have higher highs on all three indicators we have higher lows in those indicators we have higher lows and higher highs for the price which is not divergence but convergence so I would say this already played out so we may safely expect that the continuation of the previous trend is really likely to happen and especially now if you look at the daily time frame those divergences which happened before almost negligible right now only stochastic oscillator shows a little bit of divergence but again just a very few days in this area so we can't really say about the highs and lows over here but before that the price action was pretty much going sideways so again very hard to say about the highs and lows and if you zoom out even more and look at the weekly time frame then here both RSI and MACD are pretty bullish they are following the price uptrend and only stochastic oscillators seemingly have problems going higher and you may say that this is something like a bearish divergence with a low reliability especially that you don't have really highs here you just have the increase in the price so considering all that i would say that we have a pretty nice chance to continue that and let's look at how the weekly time frame will 
close because our potential doji over here now it doesn't look like a doji at all and if bitcoin will continue to go within this channel maybe we will see some more rise of the altcoins which had a little bit of the pullback recently because of this jump in the price of bitcoin so that is it for today i hope it was useful thank you for watching